Welcome back to 23 News at Noon, and welcome back to Joe Batista from Lino's. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, come on! <laughs> How you doing? He didn't talk to me at all. I felt bad. I got I was hurt when I came in. I didn't didn't know what I did wrong. You know the guy does you know work what, though? occasionally over there. I, I had a few blonde girlfriends that treated me exactly the way you did when I walked in here. But let's forget about that because we just hugged and it wasn't and recently. I trust. Enough. No, no, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> anyway, what are we making, Joe? We're uh, making trouble. Spaghetti. <laughs> Where are you going? Joe I'm, ran away. I'm leaving. <laughs> spaghetti <laughs> alla. You just now. got here, man. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti alla pancetta, and um, you know we've come full circle. I think uh, people are starting to stick up for their rights to eat what they want. The heck with with uh, uh, all this uh, tofu and uh, things that are that are supposedly good for it's you. It's a new year, though, it's Joe. A new, well, I'm right. So, we can use this. It's been cold excuse too long. Right. Okay. I've been here. I've been here. I've been hearing at the restaurant that anything with bacon is good. Still, still rules. Huh? And this is pancetta. That's Italian bacon. So it's got to be super good, right? Mm, exactly. Okay. So what we did was. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't think I've ever seen bacon come in yeah. that form. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, in, it's in a roll. It comes flat, but. Um, that's typically the way, it, so, and, and you know, it's salt cured, so it's very salty, like as regular bacon is. Uh, also, um, stubborn spaghetti, SS. Um, also, they make pancetta with different um, spices too, uh, pepper, uh, aromatic spices, things like that. And, um, and I don't know, overall, I've never done a lot with it. You know, I'm not a big bacon guy, but I know a lot of people are. And uh, so we want to satisfy the bacon lovers uh, in this city by doing something that would be a tribute to Look them. Look at those chunks of bacon. Yeah, now. it's really good. So li like I said, I took, I took about, um, I don't know, about 10 ounces of, uh, of uh, the pancetta. I cubed it. I cooked it till it was um, uh, just a little bit crisp. And, uh, did you put and in some oil? A little or? bit of olive oil, about four tablespoons. Mm -hmm. And then I did um, some white wine. I scraped up all the bits on the bottom, which have all the flavor. I put a little bit of chicken stock in there. Now I've cooked, put my cooked spaghetti in there. I'm just kind of letting it, you know, get to know one another, the sauce and the, uh, and the spaghetti. What's, and now how does pancetta taste differently than... than what we are used to is bacon. Um, it's it's very similar. I mean, I I'm not going to lie to you, but it's it's really I think it's. Uh, I, wait a second, okay. Well, I just want well, to sample and find out if I could tell the well, let difference. Let me You in will. Taste. You here. Go ahead. You see what I got to put up with? I can't with? believe you're letting him do this. Well, I would let you do it, but Andy, you know, is is different. <laughs> We have a different relationship. He likes it. He mm -hmm. likes it. Yeah, there is a little. You said mentioned there's some different well, spices in there. Now I at, can taste them. Now yeah. at the end, at the end of that's this, where, that's where the spices are. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put a little bit of truffle oil on there. And truffle, truffle oil. has <laughs> got some really uh, pungent uh, flavor, and um, I don't know if you're gonna like it or not, but I'm gonna try to educate you. Okay. And you see, this is almost like a. Like making uh, kind of a carbonara, we're just making uh, um, that sauce get together with the cheese, making it a little creamy. More friends. Yes. See, they're all friends. And they're all maybe. friends. This pancetta, the cheese, the pasta, and pretty soon the truffle oil. No, we don't want to do much truffle oil. We want to do maybe two. Can I get a whiff? Two tablespoons. It's not that bad. Or two teaspoons. It, what did, I like, really, it. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. It's really <clears throat> a different flavor. So I want to finish this off. With, you smell it? Oh yeah, I do smell it now. Yeah, it lingers. Too bad we didn't have uh, smell of vision, as they say. Yeah. But a little bit of pepper. The way that pepper. looks, I think it translates into smell for food. Yeah, I, I think people <laughs> can get, get the picture. Wait a minute. Get the smell. Just to pick, get this to make a nice picture. And see, look at that. Oh, look at. Joe, you're perfect. Is this a, can I drink this? Just to have a shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you might puke. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, the uh, spaghetti a la pancetta. And uh, we'll, we'll give it a... He has an acquired taste for castor oil. Yeah. <laughs> you can get, you can <laughs> get mother, the recipe on our <laughs> website, WIFR.com, Lino's Recipes. And check out Lino's website as well, Lino'sRockford.com. And certainly check out the restaurant. We'll be right back with the taste testing next.